So the next interesting algorithm that we'll study is called the quick sort. As the name itself says, it is a very, very good sorting algorithm. The name itself says quick, which means it must be quick, right? But the big question here is, we've already learned three sorting algorithms. We have learned insertion sort, merge sort, and bubble sort. Why should I learn another sorting algorithm? Let's, I'll try to motivate you from the real world, right? If you look at insertion sort, right? It has an order of n square worst case and an order of n best case time complexity. Its space complexity is order of one. Merge sort, on the other hand, the time complexity is much better. Okay, if you compare the time complexity of merge sort with the worst case of insertion sort and the worst case of bubble sort, merge sort time complexity is much better than the worst case of insertion and the worst case of bubble. Because for merge sort, whether it is worst case or best case, it is order of n log n. But the biggest problem with merge sort is this additional space that we need to use, right? To store the temporary arrays, right? Because when we have the large array, we break it into two small arrays, right? We have to store them in the left array and the right array, if you recall merge sort, when we discussed earlier in this, uh, in this course, right? So because of this, we are using lot more space than we should. In the case of insertion sort and bubble sort, our, time com our space complexity is only order of one. So is there some other algorithm? Is there some other algorithm that can give me merge sort like order of n log n time complexity, but something much less than order of n? Okay. Can I get something less than order of n? Can I get something like order of log n or even order of one? Is that possible? Right? That, that's, a bit, that's an interesting question, right? Because in such a situation, I would have the best of both worlds. I would have the very interesting time complexity or very good time complexity of merge sort while have not having the overhead of the space complexity that merge sort has. So quick sort is one such algorithm which has the order of n log n time complexity and better than order of n space complexity than merge sort, right? Quick sort was invented in the early 19, sorry, in the early 1960s right in late 1950s i think 59 to 61 is when this was invented and quicksort became so popular it's a very very powerful algorithm that in the early versions of the unix operating system so unix operating system is the operating system on which most of your mac and linux today are based on right unix was the mother of all of them right so in the early versions of the unix operating system the c programming language even java programming language when we said sort, it was actually internally doing quick sort because in the Unix operating system, there is actually a function to do sort. Similarly, in C, there is a sorting function. In Java, there is a built-in sorting function. So in the early operating systems and programming languages, in the early versions at least, if not the more recent ones, in the early versions of Unix, in the early versions of C and Java, when we, whenever we said sort, they were actually internally implementing quick sort. That's how powerful quicksort is. That's how quick quicksort is. So it has actually all the benefits of the time complexity while the space complexity is significantly lower than order of n, right? So that's why we should learn quicksort. It is one of the most popular. So I would say that it's, it's actually one of the most popular general purpose. So it's, it's a popular general purpose sorting algorithm, right? It's a popular general purpose sorting algorithm because its time complexity is very good. Its space complexity is much more favorable than merge sort. And it doesn't have a very terrible or very bad worst case situation. If you look at insertion sort and bubble sort, their worst cases are order of n square, which we don't want, right? So quick sort is a very nice general purpose sorting algorithm if we implement the code carefully. If you implement the code, see algorithm is one part, writing the code carefully is another part. So if you input the code, if you write the code for quicksort carefully, it's, it's very good. And hence it is used in many of these programming environments and operating systems like Unix, C and Java.